In this video, we'll discuss how to use a brand new Python library called Styleformer. Styleformer allows you to adjust text written in a casual tone to convert it to be written in a formal tone and vice versa. It also allows you to do the same with text written in active form to passive form and again, vice versa. But for this tutorial, we'll be focusing on changing the formality of text with just a few lines of code. So the author listed four different use cases for Styleformer. There's data augmentation, post-processing, controlled paraphrasing, but one I find to be very interesting is assisted writing. So uh, let's say you want to write an important email to your boss and want to make sure it has a formal tone. Well, by using Styleformer, you can run it through the model and it will output text that might be a little more professional and ready to be sent to your boss. So let's get right to using it. We'll scroll down and here are the installation instructions. It is not available on PyPy, but you can download the package straight from GitHub with this one line of code here. So let's copy it, head back over to the Colab and paste it in and hit run. Now from Styleformer, we're going to import a class called Styleformer like so and hit run and we will use this class to load models. So let's create a model. We'll just call it uh, Styleformer and then we'll call it casual to formal. So CTF, and we'll create it using this class. And we only have to provide a single named argument, which is called style. So we'll set style equal to zero, and this will load the casual to formal model. And let's hit run. We have everything we need to begin performing inference. So we'll create a variable we'll call result one, and we will use the style former model we just loaded. And from here, we have to call the method called transfer and provide text. So I'll be typing in casual text, which we will then convert to being formal. I just wrote the text, yo, I love coding in Python. Sounds very casual to me. Let's hit run and print the result. And the result is I enjoy coding in Python. A non-deterministic text generation algorithm is used, so that means each time you run this, the result might be a little different. So I enjoy programming with Python. We can keep on running this. And you see each time you run it, it is a little different. Now is a great time to mention that this video is based off of an article I published on my website. So you can check it out with the link down below if you prefer to read. And if you head over to my website's homepage by heading over to venify.ai, you can subscribe to my email list to stay updated with all of my latest content from Udemy courses to blog articles to of course, YouTube videos. And let's get right back to the tutorial. The process of using a model to convert text from being formal to casual is pretty well identical, except instead of selecting style zero, we will select style one, and we will also rename this object to style former F2C, formal to casual, hit run. And like before, we can call the transfer method, and here I will be adding formal text. I just added the text, let's discuss our plans for this evening. And in order to use a GPU, you have to change the inference on parameter from zero to one. So if this variable remains unchanged, so if it's equal to zero, then the environment will always use the CPU. But if you select one, then it will use the GPU, assuming it's available. So now we can save the result in a variable called result two and hit run. Let's print the result. And it reads, so what are we going to do tonight? That sure sounds more casual than what it was before. If you take a look at Styleformer source code, you see that the maximum length per inference is 32 tokens, where a token is typically a word or a symbol. And in addition, early stopping is enabled, which means that when the end of sentence token is reached, the model stops generating text. So although this is not explicitly stated within the documentation, I believe that the library is only intended to be used for single sentences, but I wrote some code using a Python package called text blob that allows you to break an input down per sentence so that you can continue to use Styleformer. I'm going to go over this code very briefly, but if you want to learn more about text blob, then I suggest you check out this YouTube video I published or this full course I released on Udemy. Both of these resources cover how to use text blob for many different things other than just tokenization, like spell correction and text classification. So you can click the link down below to either view this video or access the full course, and let's get right back to it. So again, text blob is a Python package, so we can pip install it since it's available on PyPy. Then we can import a class called textblob, which we will use 
to create a text blob object that contains uh, text. So here for the text, we have multiple different sentences. And then text blob is built on top of perhaps the most popular NLP framework of all time called NLTK. And that means sometimes we have to download resources from NLTK. So in this case, we are downloading a tokenizer. And then moving on, we created a list which we will save our result in and we iterate over all of the sentences within our text blob object. So this is a form of tokenization. Then for each iteration, we convert it from something called a sentence object to just a normal string. And then of course we call the transfer method using uh, in this case, our model that converts casual text to formal text and we append the result to our result list. So this is a list of strings. And then we can use the dot join method to combine the list of strings into a single string. And the result is, hello gentlemen, what is going on? We should spend time with one another and watch the Olympics. Perhaps you should go and grab food. So this sounds a lot more formal than what it was before, which is, hey man, what's up? We should hang out and watch the Olympics. Then maybe go grab some food. And I hit run a few times just to make it sound extra formal. It typically doesn't say, hello gentlemen. This is quite exceptional in terms of its formality. So we can hit run again. And it is, hello, what is going on? We should spend time together watching the Olympics. Perhaps I should get some food. Um, I find that it sometimes messes up the last sentence, but the first two sentences, it, it has done uh, a great job at converting them to being more formal. Now, Styleformer's models are published on Hugging Faces Model Distribution Network. That means you can use them through other tools like my very own Happy Transformer or Hugging Faces Transformers Library. And there are two main reasons why you may want to do this. So number one, currently Styleformer is not available on PyPy. So that means if you were to list it as a dependency for one of your projects, it would be a little more confusing and complicated. But if you were to use Happy Transformer, let's say, well, it's available on PyPy. So listing it as a dependency is very simple. Also installing it is simple. You can just type pip install Happy Transformer. You don't need to include a URL or anything. Next up, by using Happy Transformer or Hugging Face, you can adjust the text generation settings. So recall how I said that Styleformer only lets you generate at most 32 tokens. Well, you can easily increase this by using Happy Transformer. And you could also increase or decrease the, let's just say, creativity of the text. You can change how frequently less common words are selected. So here we are using a text generation algorithm called top K sampling, and we can increase top K or increase the temperature to make it so that less common words like gentlemen, how it was used above, are picked more frequently. You can check out the link down below to this Google Colab that contains code that shows how to use the Styleformer models with Happy Transformer. I've also created a GitHub gist, which you can check out as well. And I might create a full video on how to use Styleformer with Happy Transformer in the future. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned a lot. If you enjoyed this video, then chances are you would enjoy a recent article or video I published that discusses how to use a very similar model that was also created by the creator of Styleformer called Gramformer. This model corrects the grammar of text using a state-of-the-art NLP transformer model called T5. I've included a link to this article along with the equivalent YouTube video down below and stay happy everyone.